and uh, welcome to another kit review. Alright, so today we're just having a quick look at a kit from Mini Art. And the kit number is 35065. And as you can see, it is their German Soldiers at Work RAD. Okay. RAD stands for Reich Arbeitsdienst, which is basically the Reich Labor Service. Okay. Um, this was a compulsory service for all young men. They had to spend six months in this service before they joined the army. It was also um, voluntary for young women before 1939, but after 1939, it was also it was um, compulsory for young women in Germany to join the RAD. Okay, so as you can see, you have five figures, and they're currently digging a hole it doesn't look like they're filling it it looks like they're digging it okay so you got one guy with a pickaxe two guys with shovels one guy carrying a pole and one guy with the wheelbarrow okay um definitely not council workers that's for sure <laughs> okay as you can see they're wearing the rad brown uniform uh this guy here is wearing the white Okay, they did wear a white uniform, which was just their fatigue uniform. Um, the RAD were used for digging trenches, gun emplacements, you have it. They were also trained um, in other things such as operating flat guns. And there were flak batteries, etc. So later on in the war, there were even frontline RAD units fighting on the Eastern Front. All right, so there's your typical mini art um box art okay really nicely done really nicely um colored with the figures etc okay on the side you've got a couple of other mini art kits which is just your german soldiers at rest and your africa corps on a car crew okay usual warnings mini arts address um and on the other side the usual this is a model kit in uh, Ukrainian, Russian, and English. And on the back, you've got, this is your painting and assembly guide. Okay, fairly straightforward. Five figures, not a great deal to it. A few uh, tools, etc., to put together. But apart from that, not much else. And uh, of course, your standard painting guide. All right, which has numerous suppliers on it Tamiya, Humbrol, Ravel, um, Vallejo, etc. So, this covers pretty much uh, most of the popular brands. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's in the box. Just one bag of sprues, just two sprues, and uh, not much else. So, just give me a second here. Yep, tear this open. Uh, 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 there we go. Usual mini art flimsy plastic. This is your sorry guys. Sprue layout and assembly diagram for the wheelbarrow. That's uh, basically it as far as your assembly instructions are concerned. And two sprues. Okay, one with three figures on it. The other one has the wheelbarrow and two figures. So let's put that one aside and let's have a look. Okay, so, most importantly, so okay, so this kit came out in 2014, okay, so it's been around for a while, but, oops, sorry, that went out of focus, guys, there is one of the faces, okay, so you do get two heads with um, no hats or helmets or whatever, and three with hats, let's have a look at this guy's face, Yes, that's not too bad. And number three, there we go. So I do like the faces, okay? They will come out quite well. Um, you, oh, sorry, that went out. Focus, there you go, sorry. You should even, in fact, be able to get um, some eye detail in there as well. So that's not too bad. Let's have a look here. Sorry, there's a hair on him. Where that came from. 
uniform detail really nice okay so these are RA did RA did RAD um, soldiers okay so these guys would have spent six months with the RAD and then moved on to the Wehrmacht so their uniforms were brown shirts I think would have been white or off-white some of their uniforms were actually white okay their fatigue uniforms there is a fair bit of mold line seam on the arms and also on the legs and the torsos as you can see and even on the heads so there's a fair bit of clean up there this is the wooden pole that one of the guys is carrying this is your standard RAD square shovel although I have to check the references because I think it was a bit more square around the front and as you can see right there it does have a fair bit of flash along the mold line to clean up so the detail is really nice the uniform is really nice but there is a fair bit of cleanup going to be required on these figures before you can actually get them together but apart from that I do like the detail well let's have a look at the other one Okay, so this is the other one. These are your other two figures. And the wheelbarrow, which again, has flashed along the mole lines. Does have a kind of wood grain. Let's have a look at the other side. Yep, does have wood grain texture. So that's not too bad. There's your pickaxe, and again, a lot of cleanup along the mold line. Let's have a look at this guy's face. Yep. Okay, so yeah, you can do a lot with those faces. Okay, so that's good. I like that. And the detail on the uniforms. Oops, sorry, that went out of focus. Bad time. There you go. The detail is really nice. Okay. The uniform is really nice, but there is a fair bit of cleanup. The faces, don't mind those faces at all. Okay, really nicely done. But yeah, there's a fair bit of cleanup along all of the mold lines. This is uh, another spade. I have seen pictures of RAD guys with round nosed shovels. Okay. So that's not a bad thing, although it does seem to have a bit of a bend to it, which might be a bit of a worry, okay? But apart from that, that's all you get, okay? So the RAD, they normally used these kind of shovels. So that came out. Let's get rid of that, okay? So they normally used those. They were issued with one of those and a bicycle when they joined the service, which they naturally gave back in when they joined the army. Okay, and that, guys, is it? That is... Mini Arts, German Soldiers at Work, RAD. Kit number is uh, 35065. And as I said, it came out in 2014. Nice little accessory, uh, something very different. So you get a couple of these sets. This one wasn't expensive, really cost me virtually nothing. I was, okay. A couple of these, you could put together a nice little working detail digging a trench or a gun emplacement or something like that so it's not a bad little kit all right bit of cleanup 
should come out fine. All right, so as usual, that brings us to the end of this one. Hope you've got something from it. Thank you for your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. And as usual, guys, until next time, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you later.